Okay, here is our uh, video on our greatbrewaid.com pump. Um, I'm just going to show you where we're at here with this. If you can see this, the light's not great for it. It's hard to... There we go. So you guys can see that. We're at nine feet. The hose, by the time the hose gets into the bucket, will be at 10 feet. We're using our water jug here drinking water it shows you right there we got five gallons 18.9 liters jugs empty we're on an eight-foot ladder Gerard here six three and we're gonna show you guys that we will get a bit of a reduced flow rate from our advertised rate but that's because we're pushing at uh, three meters of head or 10 feet. There you go, you get a you get a reference of scale where we are with a transport truck behind us. We won't stop the video for that. It's a good reference point. So Gerard as he uh, gets on the top of eight-foot ladder, jugs probably about nine feet to the top, our hose will loop around ten. Here's our setup. We're gravity fed from a bucket. Our pump is mounted on the end of these forks. Our power supply is connected. That was another issue some people brought up that how do we power these things? And they do give you a power supply. We're going through uh, PEX hose, probably got about 13, 14 feet of PEX hose. Jug's empty. And uh, whenever you want to start jarred, you guys can record the time yourself. We've done the math. Okay, we're going to start right now. We've done the math and we get uh, at 10 feet of head here for three meters, we get uh, a flow rate of six liters, 0.11 per minute. I'm not 100% what that converts to gallons yet. So a gallon and a half a minute. So four liters to a gallon. So basically uh, that's at 10 feet. And that's Canadian gallons, which is 4.5 liters to an American gallon. The Imperial gallon, which is in the U.S., is about 3.8 liters. Oh, you'd have a higher flow rate than one and a half then. Yeah, so it's about one, one and three quarters uh, gallons. U.S. gallons. U.S. gallons. Liters you can't dispute. Liters are liters. So... We just wanted to uh, demonstrate to the naysayers that this little pump does what it says it will do in uh, the spec, which you don't find all the time. Even with a head. In 10 feet at least. Pushing 10 feet here. I'll stand back and show that you are 6'3 on an 8 foot ladder here. And our other video is on that smaller ladder there, which basically is more like a brew setup. It's even higher than a normal brew setup would be as well. I would say we were close to four feet to the top of the bucket. Fill line, a little over half. And again, this is at 10 feet of head, which uh, none of you guys are going to have. Not unless you're pumping from the basement upstairs to the fridge. There's an idea. <laughs> I like that idea. Uh, it's a future product. No one's going to be disappointed with these pumps, especially at normal heights here. Oh, my armchair. Can this pump go to my armchair upstairs? <laughs> We should be pushing, if you do the math, when we did this, we hit three minutes, approximately nine or 10 seconds to uh, fill 18.9 liters. Fill line. Someone, I read somewhere on a blog that it would only pump two liters per minute at this point of 10 feet ahead. And we're showing that's not the case. And again, no one's gonna have this kind of a setup.
closer. We're getting full. There we go. We're full. There we go. Overflowing. So, if you guys have any questions, you can go to greatbrewaid.com. You can email us, call us, and uh, any of the naysayers out there. Now, uh, we've demonstrated kind of crudely, but at least scientifically, that this little pump can do the job. Thanks for watching.